The 2020 rookie class that was previously expected to be a rather weak draft class has impressed quite a bit and exceeded expectations. LaMelo Ball has been better than even his biggest supporters thought he would be this early. Anthony Edwards, though he has had inconsistencies, has clearly shown star potential. James Wiseman, while he has not gotten much opportunity in Golden State, has shown some big flashes. Tyrese Halliburton has broke out as the clear steal of this draft. And there's guys who were taken later like Sadiq Bey, Peyton Pritchard, Emmanuel Quickly, and Jaden McDaniels. But there is another rookie who I did not mention there who has also been great thus far in his career, and that rookie is Patrick Williams. That's right, it has been a long time, a long time, since I have made a video hyping up a Bulls prospect, uh, and it's because a lot of them have turned out to suck. But I'm back again, hopefully not making the same mistake again. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Patrick Williams and why he is the future of the Chicago Bulls, why he is a future all-star, perennial all-star, even caliber player. And you can shake your head and dismiss it as Bulls bias all you want, and I completely understand that. But regardless, I'm going to be saying it. So let's just get into it. Now I've wanted to make this video for a few months now, but I was kind of afraid that it might be a tad delusional on my part, that I might be just buying high on this guy simply because he is on the Bulls. I forgot to do the sub intro. Before I continue on with this video, about half of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed, so if you fall into that 50%, then subscribe. Also drop a like on this video, it only takes one second and makes a massive difference. So, I have wanted to make this video for quite a while. I just didn't end up doing it because I was afraid I was maybe being a tad delusional. My bias for the Bulls was making me think too highly of this guy, but recently a funky diabetic made a video on the topic and Kevin O'Connor came out with some content about how good he thinks Patrick Williams is, calling him the future of the Bulls franchise. So, from outsider's perspective, this guy looks good, so I feel valid to actually talk about him. So, let me just quickly explain Patrick's game to those who might not be aware. I'm gonna just break down the details of his game and then say where I think he can expand on them and the reason why I'm so high on his potential with said expansions. Patrick is one of the youngest players in the NBA. In fact, I think I heard he's like the second youngest player in the NBA. Although I didn't care enough to actually fact check that, but he is 19 years old. He's also a big forward, being able to play both forward positions. He is 6'8", 220, with a near 7 foot wingspan. He's very athletic, and man does he use that 220 pounds to his advantage, because this guy is strong. And more importantly than him just being strong, he also knows how to use that strength. Offensively, Patrick is a good finisher, shoots nearly 70% at the basket. He he uses his strength as well as his athleticism to power through contact. He has relatively good hang time. I've seen him do some nifty reverses, like just completely absorb the contact of a center in the paint. The guy knows how to finish early. Pause. <laughs> that one took me a sec. As for the jump shot, his three ball has been good thus far percentage wise, but you can look at his volume and his 27% three point attempt rate and tell that he's really not all that comfortable with it. But more importantly than that, his form looks very mechanical. Like there's nothing natural about his shooting motion when he is that far out. It looks like I'm watching a robot shoot the ball. Now it's better than it just being an outright broken jump shot, but I'm not expecting him to be some guy who who's coming off of screens and shooting fading threes or step backs or pull ups or anything like that. I think he can be one of those guys who shoots like 38% from three, but it's on like four to five attempts per game. Where his shot does not look unnatural at all though is in the mid range because Patrick Williams as a 19 year old is already a fantastic mid range shooter. Thus far he shoots right around 40% from 16 feet to the three point line, which is not great, not horrible, but he shoots over 45% from 10 to 16 feet, which is approaching elite category 
and we're talking about a 19 year old here. Overall, he shoots about 40% from mid-range, which is not outstanding, but it is pretty outstanding for a 19 year old. And you add on to it that 30% of his shots are coming from mid-range, i.e. he shoots more mid-range shots than threes. It's definitely looking like that's going to be a big part of his game. And with him having this foundation early and him looking so natural with the pull-ups, the step backs, the catch and shoots from there, it's definitely something that's going to be a big part of his game. And I think he can be towards the top of the league in mid-range quality like being one of the best mid-range shooters in the league relatively soon and he has great touch on that mid-range shot but he also has incredible touch on his floaters the guy like confidently takes floaters from like nearly 10 feet consistently and he makes them consistently because he's just very good from floater range. He has very good touch with that shot and he feels very comfortable going to it. Very often he will catch the ball, attack a closeout and either pull up from mid range or take another step or two, go into a floater or just outright drive it all the way. And having that three level scoring ability early and the foundations to build upon that is definitely something to be excited about. His handle is an area that can improve, though I would not say it's bad by any stretch. I would just say it could definitely be better to really elevate his game. And then he has shown lately some really good playmaking flashes. He had one game where he had four assists and all of them were like real impressive. A couple of touch passes to Vucevic and a lob to Daniel Tice. It was just fantastic playmaking from him in that game. I don't expect him to be a great playmaker, but I don't think it's out of the question that he has a couple of seasons where he averages four to five assists per game at his peak i think patrick could be like a 22 to maybe at his highest 24 point per game score who is more often finishing plays and creating them for himself but still that's a very valuable offensive player to have the only thing that makes me hesitant on patrick is his ironically his hesitance uh he is definitely not the most aggressive player in the world but i also think he's just trying not to step on too many toes the bulls obviously have offensive options so he is just trying to work as a role player at the moment and i think his opportunity to break out is something he's expecting but not just outright going for right now now what i just described to you is a pretty damn good offensive player but it's nothing insane. Like a guy who can average 22 and five assists on good efficiency is a good player. Yeah, but like, what's that? Like Fred Van Vliet numbers? That's nothing ludicrous. But where Patrick's potential starts to get ludicrous is on the defensive end of the court. Patrick has the size and the foot speed to defend one through four. The one thing that hurts him a little bit on the perimeter is his lateral quickness. He can recover well, but like going side to side, he has issues. Part of that is he has too much muscle in his thighs. And if you look at photos of him, it's like, good Lord, dude, do you only work your thighs? Uh, that apparently, I don't, I've had this described to me. I don't know how it works because I'm not a doctor or a, a person who knows about human bodies all that much but it, it's apparently something that makes him worse laterally but he is still pretty good defending guards i would just say he's not the best matchup for quick guards otherwise he pretty much has enough speed he has the length he has the athleticism he has the strength he has the iq he has the effort and he has an interest in the challenge what excites me the most about patrick that's not his tools or his feel for defense it's rather that he wants to defend the opposing team's best player night in and night out he craves that challenge recently in the past couple of games he has been defending the opposing team's two guards he defended demar Derozan, devin booker and donovan mitchell now two out of those three games did not go well for patrick as Derozan had over 30 on really good efficiency and booker had 45 but i can tell you from watching in those games that it wasn't Patrick playing poor defense. Sure, he got beat here or there, but for the most part, he was fully engaged and didn't make life easy for them, uh, but they were just doing, you know, better offense even though it was good defense, you know what I mean. And Booker even had comments of praise for Patrick after he had dropped 45 on him. He said, I like that kid, I like his size, I like his mentality. Speaking of mentality, and speaking of that Suns game, Patrick made a play in that game that was downright incredible. He went from defending CP3 on a drop to switching over to block a DeAndre Ayton alley-oop attempt as he was about to throw it down. Not only blocking it, but pulling down the ball in the process. 
but right after the play, he threw a turnover. He was asked about this play in the post game, and his reaction was to just say, eh, it's a basketball play, and then immediately turn the focus over to the fact that he threw a turnover right after. A 19-year-old made an incredible play, and his first instinct was to talk about the turnover, to focus on the thing that he did wrong as like a way of caring about improving upon it later. That's huge. Patrick has all the tools that you want for the foundation of a great player, but more importantly than that, he has the mentality you want for a great player. He is always looking to learn. The Bulls veterans, including like Thaddeus Young as the biggest one who's talked about it, has said that Patrick is constantly asking questions, constantly trying to figure out how to improve. He is always looking for a challenge, always interested in defending the opposing team's best player. He has defended the likes of Giannis and LeBron, and I believe LeBron even had comments about Patrick Williams after the game. He wants that matchup, all of this in an effort to learn and get better. Patrick has drawn comparisons to Kawhi, and that's why that's in the thumbnail, although it's like 90% clickbait, and I do think that is pushing it a bit, because I don't know that Patrick quite has superstar level of a ceiling, although it is hard to put a ceiling on the guy, but I also understand where the comparison is coming from for the most part. A big forward with a deadly mid-range pull-up shot and a blank expression on his face every time he makes an amazing play. He called this play a basketball play like is that not the most Kawhi Leonard response ever like he even has the same mannerisms as him I don't think he's gonna be like Kawhi but I think he can be like a Kawhi light a diet Kawhi a B plus Kawhi and that's still a very damn good player to have to put it simply I think Patrick Williams can be very good and it is also very hard to put a ceiling on a 19 year old who has all the tools that he does so I look forward to seeing what he does with them Shout out to Rudy for editing this video. That is the end of this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more NBA content like this and keep the outro music.